Well, good morning. Just over by the molasses tanks here. My good buddy Jeremy, he just left with a few tanks of molasses. That is uh, Farming with Treasures on YouTube. If you haven't checked them out, <clears throat> go ahead and do that. He's going to start seeding here in a few days too. While we were loading up our totes, Dad and Corey, they got the drill full of seed again. There's a seagull. I haven't seen I haven't seen them in a while. Cool. Uh, so yeah, and then Corey ran to town this morning. She got a load of fertilizer. So they're filling up the fertilizer. Seems to be quite a bit of chunks and so it takes a long time, but we got a really small screen on there, but we would rather take the time and screen all that stuff out than to have to climb out of the tractor every round and start fishing that out of the openers and once it gets down into your meter rollers, if the chunks are too hard, it actually uh, eats your meter roller apart too. So not very good. I'm not exactly sure where to put the blame for that. I don't know if it goes to the to the plant that manufactures it, or to the shouldn't really be to the truckers that haul it, or to the distributor that mixes it and blends it. I don't know where the chunks develop from, but it's an ongoing problem for sure with the fertilizer. Well, good. 12.30. Good afternoon. <laughs> that was a test. I'm going to get that all filled up, but it's full. The tractor is ready to go. We got half a dozen raindrops while we were doing that so I don't know what that means for the rest of the day. They were promising some pretty good showers. I expect we will get something. Yeah so I expect we will get something and you know what a rain shower wouldn't hurt. Corey and dad were in the yard all day yesterday getting things ready, putting stuff away so it could be rain it wouldn't be a big issue. I suspect it's evening, but uh, I'm not 100% sure because it says 1.30. Why does it say 1.30? Well, I was just flying down the field here one round ago, and I had, boom, flashed up, 24 volt system low, 23 volts. And then I had my little emergency hazard icon up here. <clears throat> so, I didn't even get enraged. I was so confident that I could handle this issue because I'm part of the YouTube, TikTok community now and social media has made issues like this a little less stressful. Bear with me. Why I say that? My buddy that I watched there down in uh, in the States, follow my buddy because everybody's my buddy, never met the guy. Farming 4G, top shelf guy. If you haven't watched his uh, YouTube channel, highly recommend checking it out. I was watching one of his videos, he's got a T9 as well, and he had an issue last year or the year before, can't remember, 24 volt charging system issue. And through his video, he talked about some of the issues, and one thing that he had heard or that he understood was you were supposed to switch the batteries from front to back. So there's two batteries, one close to the front of the tractor, one behind that. And I don't exactly know 100%, but I think one charges from the, from the alternator and the other one charges through a equalizer box or something so anyways you're supposed to switch them anyways was my understanding of his uh of his youtube video and i had a situation last year where that equalizer itself failed so i replaced that and i knew all the fuses where they were i knew where the relays were i knew where the big fuse that blows when your equalizer blows so i knew quite a bit to check right away and the only thing that i'd never done was switch the batteries bear with me i'll turn around here so I'm cruising around and I got my 
morning light on up here and I got my alarm here that says 24 volt system flashing. Uh, so I texted Corey, I said, can you bring me out some tools, a fuse checker and a, uh, and I'll stop at the end of the field. Now I was kind of nervous about shutting it off because I've done that before and it doesn't turn back on. But I shut it off anyways and I switched the battery front to back and then I hopped in the tractor and nothing. Totally dead. It actually said system voltage extremely low. It was under six volts or something the whole system. So now I'm frustrated. But I had already checked all the fuses and I checked the, there was a sheet that, that the service manager emailed me about how to check the voltage whatever it's called equalizer or whatever. So anyways, I, I, I had done all that and I said, I'll just run home and grab some booster cables because I think what might have happened is the front battery was totally dead or the back battery, whichever one, and when we switched them, now it's not going to work at all. So she ran home, got some booster cables, hooked them up. Two minutes later, the tractor was running, all the codes were gone, and they haven't been back. So that's just, that's amazing. Like, you can connect with somebody online and solve your problem, save me a call-up charge, um, some diagnostic stuff for probably what was just one weak battery or something. Now that was that was one that was one positive for the uh, social media online forums. Number two for the day was the fact that my GPS actually works again. So I've been at this thing for like well, basically since we bought it, it's been very hit or miss. But this spring, I deleted everything out of there and typed in all the new numbers and did all the calibrations and it was working pretty good over there on that other field and it was working me so so over here when i got to the north end of this half that i'm on now it just started to get worse and worse and worse now i did know i had to switch to what's whatever it means a wasp 135 satellite i think and i switched my other systems over to it already because they were very straightforward you just went in you click gps loss and then it brought a list of available options and you just select 135. Well this piece of junk you got to go into here diagnostic and then you got to find RDI and then you got to navigate with these arrows through this really confusing system of nonsense. But anyways how did I know all this? Well I made a TikTok yesterday and uh, I was talking about how bad this GPS was. What's this guy doing? Gonna rob me or what? But, uh, so I had made a TikTok about how bad the GPS was and how loud the cab is, and the cab is actually kind of loud for a 2013 four-wheel drive tracker. But uh, somebody reached out in the comment section on that TikTok and they were like, well, have you updated your satellite? Like, this, you shouldn't be having these issues. So I, I, I responded, I said, I don't even know how to do that. And he said, well, go on YouTube. There's a video that shows you how to do it. So I went on YouTube this morning, checked out the video, deleted or, disabled a bunch of the other information or the other satellites or whatever you want to call that stuff enabled the only one that you're supposed to and bang all day long this thing has been like right straight as an arrow overlapping the proper amount and i just i'm just like oh man because i had phoned my dealer a year ago and asked them about the situation and you know what really grinds me is they probably knew that and they probably like they probably could have walked me through that on the phone. It's just they, they choose not to. They want to come out and bill you and bill you and bill you and charge you a service call and whatever. So anyways, it's been a, a, just a super positive, successful day for social media, in my eyes anyways, for online forums, for you know sharing that information out there. It's been crazy, like you say. That's, that's two call outs now that I avoided in one day probably save myself $1,400 because I didn't really need parts. I just needed them, someone to explain very quickly how to, how to do this and, you know, bang, you can do it yourself. So that's an ultimate win for me. But I'm going to get off here. I'm going to reset my clock because all the, all the stuff in here is now needs to be updated because the batteries were disconnected. Make a few more rounds. It is supposed to rain by 6 o'clock. I have a feeling that big dark cloud over there is what's bringing the rain on. So how far we can make it. Well guys, we 
are rained out heading home but that's okay because we don't really have that much seed and that much fertilizer well you didn't even see it anyways i need seed and fertilizer anyways so we got a pretty good shot got just under 600 acres i think 598 and uh yeah well that's it it's uh not worth pushing it because you could end up with the situation where you got uh, your fan sucking up all that rainwater, pushing your fertilizer through those tubes, dumbing up your tubes, so on and so forth. So we are just going to shut her down and call her a night. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you all on the next one.